Hi there Pisces, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at September 7 through September 13. Two planets signing a peace treaty and a new moon eclipse that comes with a warning label make this another uneven week. Things start out on a high note on Tuesday, September 8, with the only Mars-Uranus trine of 2015. This influence, which lasts little more than a week, is a remarkable combination of self-driven power, Mars, and intuitive genius, Uranus. With Uranus's technological savvy, this is an important marker that there will be even more creative devices out there. Electric cars, we're seeing the new um, Tesla coming out. Uh, self-driving cars, which I don't understand the fuss why you want to have a car driving around with no pa uh, driver. Seems kind of strange. Where's it going and is it that adventure for the car? How does it work? iRobots and Google Glasses. In general use than ever before over the next couple of months. Considering how many times Mars has crossed swords with Uranus in the last few years, it's a huge relief to have them back in balance again. The new moon in Virgo on Sunday, September 13, in Virgo, your opposite sign, your seventh house of relationships and partnerships, along with the sun and Jupiter, is just the thing you need to, you know, make plans with somebody who's very special to you. It could very well be someone born under the sign of Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, all good matches for you. It's a solar eclipse, and this partial solar eclipse is part of a family of eclipses considered to be rather stressful. Because this eclipse is also in Virgo, the sign ruling over work and health, it's a time to avoid stress and surgery if possible. Make your plans now to start something new, but wait until next week to put them into action and let the dust settle from the trine this week and from the new moon. And do keep in mind that Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, is going out of phase in Libra. And it's going out of phase pretty soon. And that is definitely going to throw a spanner in all sorts of works. Because Mercury out of phase, uh, you know, Murphy's or whatever can go wrong, will go wrong as in full effect. It goes out of phase on the 17th and it goes out of phase in Libra and it goes out of phase from the 17th of September through the 9th of October. So let's not even think about it until next week until it happens because uh, Mercury retrograde always manages to bring me a, a come undone. Have a fabulous week, Pisces. Great speaking to you, and I do look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thanks so much for tuning in, and be kind to yourself, Pisces.